Good afternoon. Director, and uh, welcome to our stand here at PCIM 2014. So, I think many people know all about IGBT modules and the idea of a gate drive that manages the switching of that module. And many people now that know Amantis realize that we don't just do a gate drive, we do something extra. We have this subsystem called Amantis Power Insight. Now, this isn't just a piece of hardware, it's a subsystem that has componentry sensors, a programmable device, and underneath a microcontroller. And what it's doing is finding signals, measuring vital statistics, vital performance parameters from the switch and delivering that over the fiber optic from the high voltage side to the low voltage control domain. We've just today launched some new products. We have a new family of gate drives here. This is a 3.3 kV, 4.5 kV, 6,500 volt gate drive and this in integrates Amantis Power Insight so it has all those familiar added value performance features that you would expect of a gate drive from Amantis and this is a product family that we've launched just today. However, the other thing that we've done, we've partnered with a company called Avago Technologies. Everybody knows Avago, they're the world leader in fiber optic and we've been working with Avago Technologies to leverage this signaling capability across the high voltage divide and we've developed a system with them and what I'll show you today is a brief demonstration system of what we've accomplished with Avago. We've delivered our Amantis Power Insight technology integrated into the Avago 50 megaboard versatile link um, fiber optic system. Now, one of the big challenges with fiber optics, and bear in mind that people using these products to manage the, the performance of an IGBT, one of their big challenges is the lifetime of this product. They want it to last 10, 15, 25 years. Now, in a traditional signaling system, you have the PWM signals triggering the IGBT, IGBT to switch on and off, and then the signals you have coming back are on, off, or fault, or actually what I describe as teenage mode, mode, yes, no, whatever. Now that we've integrated Insight in there, you've actually got something a little bit more intelligent. We're able to multiplex signals across that, and what we've done with Avago is we've created this system whereby each end of the circuit can tell you what's happening, but most important of all, you can manage that transmit power of the fiber optic transceiver. I'll come back to that in a moment. Let's look at what this demo system is doing. So here we've got the IGBT side and here is the host control system. And just to show that they're linked, let's press a number on this side. Let's press a number on this side. Let's press a number over there. Let's press a number over there. That's just showing you that there is actually something happening with this. There is a fiber optic link in here. Now, this is the control board, this is the IGBT side. Over on the screen, we have the readout of the control board. We have the transmit power and the receive power. Transmit from control, receive on the gate drive. Transmit from the gate drive, receive on the control board. So we've got a closed loop system that says, hey, hang on a minute, I'm a fiber optic. How loud are you shouting? Can I hear you? So at the moment, you can see the transmit power here is around 40, it's at 14 milliamps. This is the optimum level where the red dot is on the receive side. And then on, this, uh, on the gate drive, you can have, see the transmit power here and the receive side here. What I'm going to do is simply operate this attenuator in here and you'll see the receive side on the control board. You'll see the pointer start to fall to its optimum level, but that's the threshold level. And at some point, the system on the transmit side will realize there's a warning. And if you watch the lights here, there goes the warning. This steps up from 14 to 21 milliamps. So it's reset the transmit power to make sure you've got the optimum receive power. Let's, make it a let's take it a little further. Let's age that fiber optic link further. Again, you see it goes down to the threshold, the warning light, and suddenly this switches up to 32 milliamps. So as the fiber optic ages, 
it's able to talk to the other end, work out how this uh, 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 dynamic of optimum transmit power is working, and this can potentially extend the lifetime of the fibre optic by up to 50 or even 100%. This is taking Amantis Power Insight to the next level and we're very happy to be dealing with the leader in fibre optics, Avago Technologies. Thank you.